सो माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर प्रतीक महाजन रेटना सर्जन एट मैक रेटना हॉस्पिटल इंदौर सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एपीरेटनल मेम्ब्रेन वॉट इज एपीरेटनल मेम्ब्रेन बेसिकली एपीरेटनल मेम्ब्रेन इज अ स्कार टिश्यू विच फॉर्म्स ओवर द रेटनल सरफेस स्पेशली ओवर द मैक्यूला फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज यूर आई so this is the back of the eye this is the retinal surface this is the macula where the light is actually focused so over this surface a scar tissue a fibrous tissue is formed it takes the form of a membrane and it disturbs the contour of the retinal surface and we call it call it as a epiretinal membrane for example if we see the oct this is a normal oct there is a foveal dip and when there is a epiretinal membrane formation the whole contour of the fovea is disturbed so there is a membrane here we see it is like this is pulling over the macula and the distortion or causing a distortion of the macula what are the symptoms of the epiretinal membrane so what happens the patient complains of some distortion of the vision like a difficulty in reading what we call as metamorphopsia that means the shapes of near objects or some uh, lines which are perpendicular lines if we see they are uh, shaped they appear crooked or there is a waviness in the vision for example uh, if i check on this ampsler grid there is a waviness of these lines these uh, lines appears crooked and this is a symptom of epiretinal membrane but what happens actually is that often the patient has got symptoms in one eye uh, or the problem in one eye and the other eye is normal so often the patients they notice them late and they reach to the doctor late and in doctor's clinic when the examination is done by closing one eye one by one then these symptoms and the problems are noticed what are the causes of epiretinal membrane well most of the time the epiretinal membrane are without any reason we call it that idiopathy often aging is the reason but many times even in young people we often find epiretinal membrane so the primarily epiretinal membrane can be idiopathic that means without any reason but there may be secondary causes which your doctor will find out which we will find out when we will examine your retina like there may be diabetes there may be aging changes there may be uh, changes related to retinal vein occlusions or there may be changes related to some kind of inflammation in the eye or there may be history of some retinal surgery putting uh, like a silicon oil uh, inserted into the eye injected into the eye and later on removed but often the inflammation behind that do all those diseases they cause uh, epiretinal membrane now what is the treatment of epiretinal membrane the treatment of epiretinal membrane is essentially surgical the surgery involves going in inside the eye by small ports we do a vitrectomy and remove the peel of the membrane the epiretinal membrane and often an internal limiting membrane or uh, that is the innermost layer of the retinal surface so we peel off that from the macular area remove that and the surgery this surgery is a day care surgery uh, the duration of the surgery is about 30 to 45 minutes and after the removal of the vitreous and the epiretinal membrane the i uh, Uh, you may find the next day some bubble like thing inside the eye for about 4 to 5 days because we put some air bubble to support the eye many times air bubble is not put and you can have a good vision from the next day or even after the surgery so what are the complications of epiretinal membrane so if the epiretinal membrane is not operated if it is stays there then it may lead to more and more distortion of the vision so the visual uh, you may be like having a disability in your day to day life right? while well, like reading or driving many times they progress to uh, to even macular holes 
so this can be the complications of epiretinal membrane now what can be the complications of vitrectomy surgery that we do for epiretinal membrane actually a uh, common complication is that uh, whenever an eye is operated for epiretinal membrane often these patients they uh, develop cataract within an year after vitrectomy surgery many times if uh, they have already undergone uh, cataract surgery they are already pseudo faking then this complication cannot occur the other complications like infection or uh, some bleeding inside the eye may occur which are related to any other intraocular surgery so whether i should go for a epiretinal membrane surgery this question might be coming in your mind if you are having a epiretinal membrane so basically the answer can be given only with a proper discussion with your doctor whether what is actually the level of your vision whether it is causing the distortion of your vision how much contour of the fovea is being disturbed by that epiretinal membrane what is the level of macular ischemia whether you are going to get benefit from that uh, surgery or not so all these questions need to be answered to take a decision about uh, whether we should go for a surgery for epiretinal membrane or not thank you